This is probably gonna be one of the most random videos I've done in a while. I feel weird that I don't have a necklace on either. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a really random video. I haven't done this type of video in like years. It's been a really, really long time. And mostly I want to do it because I have to sneeze again. That's not the reason though. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I was recently inspired months ago by actually Pink Sparkles because I was watching her old phone case haul videos, phone case collection videos, and it dawned on me that I haven't done one of these in a really long time, and I don't know if any of you guys care. I've also been inspired from, I guess we want to call shopaholic talk, purse talk, girly girl talk, whatever you want to call it the kind of talk that it is from TikTok to show you guys because also I honestly really love these accounts though even though it's like I'm changing my purse and it's been a week. I'm changing my purse and it's been a day. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff and I shop every single day. Like some of them girls like a while like I couldn't do that but I really admire them because it makes me feel normal to why I have multiples of things and why I like to change out my purses and change my phone case and this and that. I know especially around here a lot of I've encountered a lot of people in the past that have been like oh why do you do that like why do you change your case so much like I change my phone case probably about once a month and people think I'm psycho and I don't understand why like I just like to change it up I like to be different I have to shout them out because it really makes me feel less like wild and crazy in my head that like oh no one else does this everyone has the same phone case the entire time they have that specific phone and I can never understand why and I've tried to be that way but it's just not me. If you guys want to see my entire phone case collection right here, then yes, it's in one of these like Shein organizers I couldn't fit in my drawer. But anyway, and just keep watching and let's just jump right in. Also, if you guys would like to watch my really outdated old phone case collection video, which is mostly Victoria's Secret print cases, because that was my life back then in that era, then you can go and watch it right here. I'll put a little card here. So with that being said, we just hit it even more. Let's get right into this because it's really like disheveled right now because I did try to reorganize this a little bit last night but anyway I have an 11 Pro Max. I know I'm like two generations behind of iPhone. Flash. I don't care because I really think it's now once you get older it's like if it ain't broke don't fix it. Like I've had the same MacBook since 2016 up until my TV broke like I want to say like a year ago or something like that we had to get a new bedroom tv like i was all about that tv you get what i mean so i'm definitely not as like phone happy as i was back in the day where i was like oh my gosh i got a new phone i got a whole bunch of cases i got a new phone i got a whole bunch of cases and that's kind of been the pattern though with every phone that i have so when i get a new phone my intentions are now that i'm gonna have a bunch of cases because i'm gonna have this home for a very very long time and if it's over two years it's over two years as long as it works i don't care also i was really stickler against the 12 pro max because i don't think the 13 came out yet when i got this phone i did not like the shape of it it reminded me of the iphone 4 the iphone 5 i thought we were past that you know and that like now we're kind of going back to it which there's nothing wrong with it for the record there's nothing wrong with it i wasn't into it but now i'm kind of starting to like it so <sighs> Eventually, yes, I will probably get a 12 Pro Max. Okay, shut up, Sam. The mixture of cases, AirPod cases, phone charms, and Apple Watches bands. Some Apple Watch bands. They have like four extra extra ones because my Apple Watch right now, I have a light pink band. And then I also have this black one I also got from Amazon. It's just all black, but it's the same exact kind. One that came with my watch originally, but I don't really like the color of it. Hence why I got more watch bands. And we have my fake imitation Louis Vuitton um, watch band that David got for me in a set for Christmas that came late from Shan. I really love like this leopard print. I think this is going to be my new watch band for the summer. Maybe. We'll see. A couple AirPod cases in here. Really didn't think I was going to get obsessed with AirPods. Like that airpod cases but i am i do have the airpod second generation again if it ain't broke don't fix it had this airpod case from velvet caviar on for so long and i love it it's just beautiful butterfly i have the case to match it the top is in my closet somewhere but i have this little dunkin donuts airpod case which is absolutely adorable and i'm in love with it this was the first airpod case i ever had for my airpods when i got them for christmas i have a watermelon one which i feel like you guys have seen before but it's on my airpods and it's on my dresser i don't feel like getting it right now moving on i have a couple phone charms in here i know i have more because i put them on like my purses and stuff but this one just has a whole bunch of fruit 
very cute. I think that these are definitely going to be more practical for me when I am on like vacation or something like that. That's what this one looks like. I got these off of Amazon so they're pretty inexpensive and obviously the main reason I got this one was because it has a watermelon on it. Uh, or so of like just like a fun accessory like a weekend type deal which you guys will see I have what I call weekend cases which are cases I only use on the weekends or when I'm off of work if I was working with some of these cases on my phone it would drive me crazy every single day and there'd be no way that I could do it yes I have some pop sockets still I have my little Pusheen watermelon baby I have a velvet caviar one these two that are in here, actually, there's one here and there's one on top of it. I actually customize with nail polish. I might actually sell them. I've never used them. They're sealed. I have just my Alien you guys have seen in the past before. Yes, I still have because one day I feel like I'm going to want to have a pop socket. These, these are what I mean by weekend cases. So these are cases that I, like I said, would only wear like on the weekends. I have time off of work or something like that because they're just really extra and I feel like they would just annoy me on a daily basis. So first we have my squishy Hello Kitty case, which I absolutely love. This was the one that I had to buy from Pink Sparkle's phone case collection videos because I had like a hard case like this before. I don't know if any of you guys have been around that long since I had my iPhone 4, but I had like, or was it a 4? I think it was the 4. It was the 4S the four or the five I can't remember but I had like a hard case version of her she was so cute and I loved her so much I have this one from Adriex Amore which is just the I feel like you see these a lot on Shein too I think one looks like a phone it has like a charm in it too I can't really show you guys but it's in there somewhere this one is the one from Amazon that I was raving about and I really love this case a lot this one I could probably just do every single day but I don't want any of the gems to fall off so this is this little Hello Kitty Ling Shield Lux Addiction inspired phone case I got off of Amazon. If I find a link to this or any of the cases that I talk about, I will actually leave them in the description. Try to link all these cases that I have from Amazon or Velvet Caviar, Caseify, whatever, down in the description. She was also only like 15 bucks, so like back in the day this was like 200 out. I don't know. Another way that I'm a little like I guess we'll say neurotic with my cases is that I have them organized by newest to oldest. So newer cases will be at the front so when I get done with using one it will go to the back of the line. That way I can just rotate them out. I know I'm psycho. I know. I can feel the comments now being like what the f that's so weird. Why? Why? What the f is wrong with this girl? A lot. But this is the kind of stuff that makes me happy, so leave me alone. Next, I have my cases from Bing Cases, which is... So this is one of my Bing Cases. It's just this pink cow print. It's very pretty. It has a nice protective bumper all around, you guys can see. And I really like Bing Cases, not sponsored, by the way, because they are cheaper than Case Defy. No offense to Case Defy. And no offense to Velvet Caviar. I think they're around the same price as Velvet Caviar, maybe a little bit cheaper. Just because... They are small business owned. You can customize them just like Case Defy. The other two cases that I got from Bing Cases, there's also another one you guys have already seen, but this one just has beautiful butterflies on it. And this one's like Powerpuff Girl themed, but it's really, really cute. So I have each of these and they are going to stay in this little protective case, which I love that it comes in. These are all cases right here I have not used yet, like a psycho. This one is from Velvet Caviar. It just says, don't touch me. I really love the don't touch me case, which you guys know I have. I love this one. Repurchased them for when I got my 11 Pro Max and just have not used her yet. So she is on the list of cases to be used. Either that or she's going to end up on my Poshmark. So stay tuned for that. I think there's actually a couple cases that will end up on my Poshmark at some point just because I just have so many and I need to stop but I can't stop. So there's that. One of my couple of case defy cases. This one I haven't used yet. It is this clear case with this white leopard and it's just so pretty and again has the protective barrier around it which I really love and appreciate. I just love cases like this because it feels nice and sleek but also is really protective and not bulky. That's what that case looks like. I have to say the reason I have so many see-through cases is because when I got this phone I'm extra cheap story time when I got this phone this was pre-owned and there was really limited options I didn't want to pay full price they weren't making this phone anymore I don't know for some reason they just discontinued the 11 Pro Max I really don't like that they did that but whatever the only color option I could get was gold so I had to get gold and I mean now I don't mind her I think she looks sleek and cute and classy but that's honestly part of the reason why I had a pink sticker on my phone for so long because I was just like ugh, gold like it just looks so awful but now I actually kind of like it however my next phone eventually 
whenever this phone just decides that it's it's time to go is going to be silver because it's going to be silver slash white because I just having the sleekness of a white phone or even that rose gold my 7 plus like I wish I never got rid of that phone I miss that phone so much I'm trying to book by its cover because she's actually really gorgeous and we're embracing her moving on the other two cases I have are from Shein we have this one which I already told you guys I love and it just has like all the things that I love on it, it says I have love the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night or tearful I can't see what it says I think it's fearful so it has a whole bunch of stuff on there that I love so eventually this one will be used as well for funsies I got this gummy bear case because it just looks so so cute so I just had to do it and this one feels really sturdy too so I'm actually really excited for that this one you guys just saw in my recent haul it's by Serena I'm gonna say that wrong probably hopefully not and it's just a matte neon paint case which I love pink. Pink's my favorite color, so duh. Back to the beginning. These are some of the first cases I used for my phone when I got my phone. This was actually the first case I put on it. It's this beautiful, I guess you want to call it white marble case. I definitely want to use this one again because it just looks like basic while like classy but cute and it's just really pretty. It has a nice sheen to it. From Velvet Caviar, these are all from Velvet Caviar. Of course, don't fuck touch me because true don't just don't please unless i give you permission thanks their neon case but it's clear and i love this case so so much i loved it for my loved it for my last phone so i had to get it again for this one and then this one you guys have seen before i absolutely love it's just all the butterflies and it matches my airpod case that i got from velvet caviar it's like almost a year ago too very pretty so i'm definitely going to use her again the only thing i hate about velvet caviar cases and i know they tried to fix it but I don't think it's like quite there and it's no offense to them like it's it is whatever because when you have light colored cases like this the outer rim of them not this side one's face like this it has like an outer rim it gets discolored really easily which really bothers me but I'm trying to not let that bother me because it's just a case like it is what it is she's gorgeous and I really love her pretty one from Shein that has like all the, like the Halloween stuff that's why I use this in October because it has a skull and crossbones EG thing a bottle of poison some bones like a razor like all the like the creepy stuff clear one for again when I had my pink sticker on my phone to show it off but I think I might either just save this or get rid of it I don't know yet it's just clear nothing too exciting another case defy case is another neon pink one and just says my name all over it because I customized it I'm Sam 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 all the way down moving on these are the last of my cases this one is Kate Spade I got from TJ Maxx it's just really pretty like iridescent sparkle on there then we have another velvet caviar I used this for like a weekend in like May of last year which is also crazy because I remember exactly when I used all these cases because that's me I really love the color of it a lot I just don't know if I'm gonna use it again so possibly might see on my Poshmark I think I tried to list this and I was like oh no I want to use it and another one from Adrian more. It's like this trunk imitation Louis Vuitton case. It's clear. It's absolutely gorgeous. Supporting small business. Adrian Examore is one of my favorite small businesses ever that I love to support. My imitation Louis Vuitton case that David got me for Christmas that I really love. The bad thing is that these are not very protective and it cracked but I feel like part of the reason why it broke a little bit was because I had that sticker on my phone and needless to say, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that sticker is is really phone friendly for cases like this. They're just kind of like the snapbacks. But even in the inside, it says like Louis Vuitton and whatever. But it's not real. It's imitation. I don't care. That's what I like. Last two cases, I just have this plain light pink slash lilac heyday case that I got, which is really really cute too. Just plain. And the last one, which is customized from Bing cases that you guys have already seen. I just had this on my phone the whole month of March and I figured it was time to switch it. It just says 7-Eleven because that number means a lot to me. Waterfall case, as you can see from the massive bubble in there, that bothers me to no end. This is some random stuff that I keep in here. I just have a lot of like cleaning wipes i don't know they just keep coming with cases and stuff that i buy from velvet caviar and stuff so i have those some privacy screen protectors i got from shein just in case mine on my phone break because they do break quite often which this one's already like cracked in every single way and then i have some of these earbud cleaning putties for my airpods for when they get really disgusting because that's really difficult to clean finally last but not least we have just the box generic box that my pre-owned iphone came in and i'm not ashamed to say that i bought a pre pre-owned iPhone because let's be real now with inflation and everything it's getting expensive like it's expensive in this 
now like gas prices groceries everything so you know what like th there's no shame in my game and if you have to buy a pre-owned phone or pre-owned like iphone android whatever it is then don't feel bad about it like as long as it's good condition and whatever who cares and then i got even more mad because this is the one that has the USB-C power adapter when i got my apple watch for christmas I think I told you guys I had to go to Target specifically to get an, a USB-C adapter because the charger <laughs> did not come with one. Needless to say, I had one the whole time and didn't even know. But it's fine. You know what? Life happens. What can it, what can I say? Last thing that I keep in here is just this pack of disposable black face masks that I use quite often. You guys have probably seen on my vlogs and stuff too, just because sometimes all my masks are dirty and i just need a mask so there's a mask right there that was my entire phone case and accessory collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more collection videos like this let me know down in the comments i just feel like it's a little nostalgic like a lot of nostalgic nostalgia things are coming back and even my old friend me she posted on instagram the yes i think it was yesterday the day before and she was like this is the first time i've been to the mall in months and i shopped in vs which is crazy because she used to be one of my victoria's secret friends you know we all moved on from victoria's secret since then and everything just like it just brings back nostalgia i'm like oh my god because i do miss these times in my life and they did mean a lot to me even though it was bonding over clothing brand but you know what i mean any other videos you guys would like to see let me know down below i'm just winging it here on my channel and having a good time i do want to vlog more so hopefully 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 i will vlog this weekend the next upcoming weeks because i'm gonna be hopefully just like living my life for a little while before i have to start work so yeah but anyways i love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you want to see more of me like this video if you enjoyed turn on bell post notifications you know when the I post a new video and stay safe, be happy, and I love you guys.